Welcome back, Zero K fans, to another exhibition match. This time, we have a match between Cube and Flipstep on Lowland Crossing. Let's begin. Cube starting on the southeast side of the map with Gunship. Brawler Rush right off the bat. Well, Flipstep going for a much more typical Clicky Bot Factory Rush, and I need to turn down the brightness because it's really bright here. Anyway, typical Clicky Bot Factory Rush for Flipstep. Nothing too unusual about that. Well, Brawler Rush is a more common thing nowadays, but still not the most typical thing. So QBA going for a quick Brawler into just building up their economy in the meantime. QBA setting up Defender as well, just in case for that Cloakybot, for that Glaive coming in here, because Cloakybot Rush, well, Cloakybot Raid, not really Rush, just one Glaive coming in is not atypical. Flipstep checking the cross position first, not checking Cubay's main position, so if Cubay has even more time to set up this Brawler Rush, and Flipstep none the wiser up to this point. Flipstep is going to be attacking... Well, okay, the second Glaive is going to be coming through in the right direction, but still, Flipstep, the first Glaive did not go in the right direction, which means that the Brawler is going to be able to... Oh, it's 20 seconds away from being done by the time that Glaive comes in. It's pointed out that Cubay does have a little bit less energy than they have metal, but still, that Glaive comes in, and no indication of Brawler Rush. There is nothing, I mean, managed to fix this finally. So there is nothing that Flipstuff knows about the factory. This is all he knows. Defender, Metal Extractor, Wind Generator. That's it. That's all that Flipstuff knows. Flipstuff might find out here, but Cubay's commander is possibly in the way. However, it doesn't matter. The Brawler is up. There's another Brawler coming in. Hard to say, but a Caretaker is being built up really quickly for Reclaim, most likely. While Flipstep, on the other hand, has a Lotus up, has Defender up as well. Must be getting suspicious for the lack of raid so far. And now it's going to be revealed. QB and Flipstep meet up, and there we go. QB. Well, rather, Flipstep does see the Gunship Lab as the as he sees the Brawler. At the same time, the Brawler is exposed and will be able to. Well, turn about the Defender, no problem. Another Defender being built up. Flipstep's commander is taking a fair amount of damage, and that load. Oh, Gremlin up, however, but the Gremlin shouldn't even. Be that big of a deal. That's not gonna be a big deal. Flipstep's commander taking way too much damage here. As long as the brawler stays away from the lotus, but the brawler is right on top of that lotus and it goes down before Flipstep's commander. A couple shots before too, and no second brawler coming in either. Not yet, at any rate. And Cubay not building up another factory, so that was a failed rush. Lost a defender. That was and that was an under construction defender too. That's about it for a brawler. Cubay is way behind in this game. Building up another Brawler to try to make up for it, but that's a bit of a sunk cost. However, given that Brawlers are a pretty powerful unit, and the Gunship Factory is what Cubay has right now, that's what they plopped. Not much more can really be said about that. However, Gremlin is in the way, just for when that will be relevant, because it will soon be relevant. Another Gremlin as well, so more Gremlins being built up, just in case an extra Brawler comes in, which is perfectly sensible, and exactly what's going to happen. That second Brawler has about 14 seconds left before it's done. Cubay pouring all the resources into it, but honestly, that's just 10 metal per second, or 11 or so metal per second. Cubay does not have a whole lot of resources in the bank, unfortunately. This is going to take another 3 seconds, however, the Brawler just about done, and Flipstep's commander is about half health. So this Brawler rush... Oh, how many Gremlins are there? There needs to be... A f oh, yeah, that's not a Gremlin, it's a Defender. There are three Gremlins, one in the main, one on an intercept path, and... Where's the last one? Oh, I think one's in... No, I don't know where the other one is. How is the other one? Oh, I see. There are two in the main. Actually, they're going to the intercept path, and that brawler is still going to be... It's going to be hit, but it's not going to be enough. The gremlins... Actually, don't even stop to attack yet. Okay, there they go. Why are they not attacking? Oh, I see. There are... Oh, I see. Fire to retaliate. It's an odd state to have them on. Must have been a mistake in the default states, but still... Nope, that was... That was how they were set up. How odd. Anyway, doesn't matter though, Clicky Bot Switch for Cubay wants to get into the ground game because that Brawler does get rid of the Gremlins. But at this stage, is a Razor coming up, and this Brawler should be able to get rid of the Razor and the workers being used to build it. And yeah, that Razor, I don't think it's going to even make the 20 seconds or so. Well, it's not taking as much damage as it's getting healed up, but even with that, that Brawler is attacking with impunity. However, this Gremlin doing a nice job scouting, actually. Yeah, right now, oops, there we go. Right now, we see that there's actually quite a lot of vision for 
Flipstep knows everything Hubei has going on in the main base, so Flipstep, really good gremlin positioning there. Forcing that brawler back, and now this is where it should be, yeah, hold fire. That is definitely the right save for it to be on. Hold fire, don't move, because this way, Flipstep has a great scout. Unfortunately, getting... Oh, getting too close! The scout gets revealed and gets shot down by a defender. Down goes that gremlin, and Kyube, well aware now that Kyube had been spotted this entire time. It, they'd been spotted this entire time. I want to say it, but that's because I'm getting too caught up in the character they're talking about here. Anyway, they've been spotted this entire time. Still, Brawler is up, but there are enough gremlins to counter it. These glaives pretty much will get rid of the gremlins, but the Flipstep's commander at full health. Gonna support those gremlins. More gremlins coming in, and this is exactly what Flipstep is making a mistake on. Kyube wants Flipstep to do this because Flipstep, the more anti-air he build, they build, the more anti-air they build, the more Kyube will have a powerful ground rush, and the ground switch has been revealed, however. Kyube does reveal it with these two glaives coming in the northwest, but that will destroy everything here. And it is... Well, that Northwest is down. While the Razor coming in here along the Northeast for Flipstep isn't going to do too much. I mean, the Brawler... Okay, there are... The Valkyries are coming in. It looks like... Oh, wait. Oh, Valkyrie either... Okay, no, he's not going for a nav. He's going for a Warrior Drop. They are going for a Warrior Drop. I'm pretty sure Cubay is male, so I don't know if I should worry about it. Anyway, they're going for... A a warrior drop, and that will be... That will be useful, but... He needs to avoid those gremlins, and unfortunately not able to do so, though it does reveal the gremlins. Gets that warrior out of there, takes a bit of damage on the landing, but still able to get out of here. And the second warrior should be able to drop down safely. Yeah, safely gets down, gets rid of the Geo Plant. However, that one warrior that got shot down... Still alive, but in a bad spot. The second warrior, however... Doing fine, just needs to get into position, get rid of the caretakers, get rid of the metal extractors, and that should do the trick. Now, Flipstep will have to deal with another brawler coming in. That first brawler looks like, it, yeah, another brawler just got shot down. But even then, the warrior coming on the back, Flipstep has very little to deal with this. No Rockos at all, just glaives, and not enough glaives to deal with the warrior. So, no easy way to work with this. There is warrior in the northwest, but it's too late for that. So we're coming along here in Flipstep's main base, destroying more and more of Flipstep's economy. Now Flipstep actually at 20 medals, regardless. Or very nearly, thanks to Reclaim. Reclaiming this particular rock. And down goes that warrior. In fact, that, that was anticlimactic. I guess Lotus got rid of it. Still, a second warrior is incoming. We'll be able to get rid of this particular worker. And Flipstep, without Reclaim, at about 10 metal per second. So Cube well ahead here, pushing out more and more warriors. Getting more Valkyries as well for another Warrior drop from the looks of it. And more Brawlers as well for Peripheral Harassment. Direct Harassment is impossible at this point unless the Razor is destroyed, but Peripheral Harassment is not too hard. However, that Razor, very, very well defended. And Rocco coming in as well to get rid of the Warrior. Not that it matters. The Lotus does the job. But still, Rocco's and Warriors for Flipstep. And Warriors for Cube with probably more Valkyries coming in once the Warriors are in sufficient numbers. Because, yeah, that Valkyrie job will counter the Warrior's counter of Rockos pretty well. And Brawler as well, like I said, Peripheral Harassment, getting rid of those Rockos and Glaives and Warriors just, just off to the side. Able to get rid of them. Well out of range, too, and also just double-checking the Northwest. Nothing there, but Flipstep... Actually, neither Flipstep or Cubay have gone for the west side of the map at this stage. Flipstep did, but lost everything. Cubay hasn't even tried yet. Cubay's just building up the east side of the map. Okay, going along the center, I see Cubay does have the commander going along here, taking all the metal extractors from the center across. While Flipstep actually going to be countering this, coming in with a couple of Rockers, a couple of Glaze, sorry, a couple of Rockers, a couple of Warriors, and a few Gremlins. The Gremlins won't be of much use, but the Rockers and Warriors certainly will. While Brawler coming around the side, probably going to try to go around the back and deal with the main base from there. But currently not being attended to, and Cubay gets rid of one of the Gre one of the Glaze actually coming around the side. That was a glaive that was over here scouting out for a while. And Gremlins trying to get rid of the Brawler. Unfortunately, the Brawler does have a lot of health. So they can't quite do that, but it's still going to be able to get rid of the Brawler quickly enough. And down it goes. That Brawler 
did not last at all. But even with that, Cubase Commander taking a fair amount of damage here. And at the same time, we do have Cubase coming in with all these warriors and a nice Aspis support. Building it up, morphing it, and Flipsis Commander goes down, taking out a couple of Cubase Warriors, one of one Cubase Warriors in the process, but still, Aspis goes down, but at this point, it doesn't matter. Cubase has the Warriors in Flipsis base, and this is basically game. There are some Rockers around to try to deal with this, but once that goes down, once the Klogibot Factory goes down, this is going to be it. Geo's own plan is also being built up. That Klogibot Factory is down, and not much Flipsip can do to deal with this. A couple of Rockos, but they are up against the wall. They are not going to be doing much of anything here. That's rather unfortunate. I mean, more Rockos would be useful, but really just Cubay... Cubay pulled that off. Flipsip did not read it right. Like, Flipsip failed in the read. Didn't... Didn't... Well, he did scout it out, actually, but he didn't build up enough ground units. He, he read Cubay all wrong. Built way too many anti-air, didn't build enough ground units, and Cubay... It wasn't even a mix... I mean, it's a bit of a mix-up, I suppose, but not that much of one. I mean, ground switch like that, that's pretty typical. There's nothing unusual about that. I mean, if Cubay had built that Clickable Factory, built a few units, and then switched over to mass brawlers, then yeah, that would have been even stronger, probably. Although, admittedly, Flipstep was prepared for that. But yeah, Cubay just had more info on Flipstep and used it better. So Flipstep, great scouting with the Gremlin. That was awesome. But unfortunately, it didn't look like the information was used as well as it could have been. But yeah, that gremlin scouting was beautiful. I want to see more of that. Uh, anyway, I'll have another game for you guys in just a moment. That will be a game between Cubay and Exploit. It'll be on Onyx Cauldron, and it'll be up in just a minute or two, so stay tuned. <laughs> 